Highlights from last night, New York Giants, Philadelphia Eagles, and Eli Manning is back. First start since week two. Got his big brother in the building. There's Peyton Manning right there. He was on pins and needles all game. I love those shots from him in the suite. You know what else is sweet? How about Terry Slate? This dude was a beast last night. He had himself a day. Eli Manning in the first half was cooking. He finished 15 for 30, 203 with two TDs. Manning loving it. And all the Mannings loving it. But the Eagles, they wouldn't give up in this one. After being routed in the first half, they would take it to overtime. And this is second and goal. And who does he hit? Carson Wentz to Zach Ertz. Game winning touchdown. Peterson loving it. I want to know what he said at halftime because these guys came out ready to play. The Eagles win this one 23 to 17. Ertz has nine catches, 91 yards, two TDs. And Wentz had himself a day as well, 325 and two TDs. And here is the NFC playoff picture. There it is, tied at the top with the Cowboys for the NFC East lead. San Francisco with a nice, comfy lead over the Packers. I love you guys. I love everybody watching, but let's fight. Let's do a segment called Fight My Five. We have a precocious youth in boxing gloves who looks really angered and ill-tempered, and that's the point of this segment. We're going to do our own spin on power rankings. Nate started to begin the season, then Peter took the baton, then Kay, then me, and we all put our own little spin on it. I'm certainly going to have mine. Top five teams as I see it in the National Football League right now. Would you guys like to start with number uh, five? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's start with number five? Yeah. yeah. Here we go. Number five, as always, and they always will be and always have been, the New England Patriots with the... Uh, they used to have a little star up there. Maybe we took off that star for some reason. I normally put Patriots at five, and you think, how could this possibly be the fifth best team? They just lost at home. They look terrible. They have no offense. They are bigger than power rankings. I said last week, if they lose the rest of their games, I'll leave them at five. If they win the rest of their games, lose them at five. And if your team gets the four Super Bowls in five years and earns the equity to stay up here, I will put them there too. Guys, it's, it's dark times right now. It may be end of times. How do we know? The Chiefs defense, of all things, a pinata in the league, are barking at Tom Brady on the field and getting in his face. Can you give me a little taste of it, please? Look at Chris Jones face to face Ooh. with the GOAT. And they had so much to say afterwards. Frank Clark, after this game, said, hopefully we can get them again. I want them again. They don't have a tackle that can block us. Wow. And so and this is, you don't, you don't only provide the Patriots with that, but there's blood in the water. However, guys, you know me. I stick to my convictions. I believe in Bill Belichick, Tom Brady, and Josh McDaniels. I think they'll roll Cincinnati this week. They are still the fifth most dangerous team that I would not want to see in the playoffs. We'll get into it. And number four, we got a new addition. Ever since I've been doing this segment, it's been the same five teams, but I would like to officially welcome to my top five, the Kansas City Chiefs. The Kansas City Chiefs that we just saw are in at number four. We talk a lot about peaking at the right time. They've been through a lot. Ball now, and I still think Mahomes has another level he can bring it to. Um, speaking of another level, we talked a lot about these stars that are emerging on defense. Uh, Frank Clark talked to Sam Mallinger of the KC Star. Had a lot to say after this game. Let me run the tweet for you guys. A little personality here. Frank Clark said the division title, don't mean bleep, called himself the crazy man with the gold hair, and then I believe compared himself to a TV character I've never heard of. Long live Frank Clark. Knowing that Mellinger knows his job, he followed up on it. Apparently, he compared himself to Donnie Thornburg of the Rugrats. I'm not a big Rugrats guy. Nate, are you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and uh, it was uh, one of the main characters in the Rugrats. I believe he wears a loincloth. And then, yeah, and, and then he, uh, well, he had a spinoff of the Rugrats. <laughs> there was a Thornburg spinoff. All right, well, that's what I'm saying. He now, he now plays defense for the Chiefs. There's a lot going on Super with the dive. Chiefs. And a lot of talking from the defensive side. This is not the Kelsey and Tyreek Hill. Number three, though, guys. Team I've really believed in for a long time. Coming off a loss, I saw the New Orleans Saints as my number three team in the NFL. It's strange because they lose, they lose dramatically, they lose at home, and yet Breeze was so good. There's a big part of me that comes away almost feeling a little bit better because if you bought into the arm strength, deterioration, all that, it wasn't there. Not only did he throw for five touchdowns, he did the patented Breeze jump reach yeah. touchdown on the goal line. He hit him with that. And you know, Sean Payton had a decision early in the game where he decided to go for two. Sean's been out in the community, and uh, he went on a WWL and told the story of some of the people and the feedback they're getting. This is his quote. I got the guy at freaking Whole Foods asking me about the two-point play. The guy from the meat section, I looked at him and said, hey, 
Your steaks don't look too good right now. Worry about your meat driving me crazy. And I like that. Nate, I don't know if you guys can work on a worry about your meat t-shirt or anything like that, but it does seem like kind of a thing that might sell in oh, them streets, right? My. Kind of thing you wear at the school and have to turn it inside out. You yeah. know? Gotta have I a like meat. Sean Payton's getting mad at the guy at Whole Foods of all the reasons to, to do that. I'm sure there are plenty. I, mean, I like pissed off Sean Payton. How about I Sean like Payton after the biggest losses at Whole Foods Sunday night? Sure. Yeah, getting nice. steak, too. <laughs> Must be nice. Nice, Sean. Uh, and number two, guys, the number two team right now is the San Francisco 49ers. They're right up there in the two slot. Where they belong, having beaten this team dramatically, having beaten so many doubts back and everything. And like, I just can't get through a segment right now on television with injecting just a little bit of George Kittle mm -hmm. or a lot. Check him out. Not the stiff arm. We'll get to that in angry runs. Check out the pregame speech from the people's tight end. I'm going to tell you what we have today. We have an opportunity. I love it! And the Niners love it, and they're rolling, guys. I have them at number two. Obviously, a huge day for them, despite the defense not playing well. But the number one, the guy, it's, it's Chalk. I got Chalk for you here. Throw up that Blackbird, throw up the Raven. It's, I guess it's a purple, purple bird, bird after all, with evil red eyes. Um, you go to Buffalo, a very good Buffalo defense. You beat them, you do whatever you want. And speaking of doing whatever you want, John Harbaugh has kind of reached this point where he, he's a made guy. He can do whatever he wants. He can wear whatever he wants. Did you see the John Harbaugh hat that he was wearing? This, look at this man. This reminds me of Uncle Buck. A lot of people hate this hat. They can't stand the sight of it. But this was on Marlon Humphrey's IG stories. Coach said he missed the IG live and wanted to go viral. I actually really like the hat. And this is a man who wears many hats, as we know. Comes from a special teams background, <laughs> drafts Lamar, changing well everything. Done. Well done. And that is the coach of the best team in the NFL right now. Let me head it over to the best table in NFL oh. television right now. Adam Schrager and Burleson, nobody better. Schrager's you're up. I'm going to go first on this one. Go so on, Peter. Two weeks ago, before they played the Texans, you had the Patriots at five, and New England and Boston media clobbered you. You became a, a meme. Look at this fool who's got the Patriots at five. Yes. They've lost two in a row, and yet you're telling me the Patriots right now are better than the Seahawks Ooh. on your top five? who have a better, have as good a record and just lost a tough one against the Rams. Seahawks are interesting because I used to have them way up here. Yeah, tough, tough too. loss to the Rams. They're down here in that Packers, Titans, Vikings territory. I have a very special relationship with the Patriots and I don't do it because I want to. I do it because they have earned it. I'm never going to put them out of here. I don't care what they, they could lose Cincinnati this week. Guess where they're going to be next week? Five. My top five. Adams. Donde esta los Seahawks? Like, I, I probably them at little, six. Are they at six? Okay, I was You don't think head-to-head head against Kansas City, the Seahawks would win with Russell Wilson? I don't know. We'd have to see it in the Super Bowl. But it wasn't just that they lost. They didn't show up for that game. Like, L.A. blew them out. Never mind the final score. They weren't there. And you and I have talked a lot about this year. The Seahawks are in a lot of really close games. Very close. Maybe too many. They might have a tiny bit of fake goodness going on. we, we got to see. Great quarterback. Fake goodness. Great quarterback, but they got hammered could use by a the blowout. Rams. Really could use a blowout from Seattle. Like, we could Maybe like we get it, Peter, because they were on the wrong end last week. But that's it. Everybody get mad. That's the point of it. It's Tuesday. It's the worst day of the week. Sorry, Kyle. Kyle. What's your Twitter handle Bay. for the Packers fans? At Kyle Brand. It's clean. For all the Packers fans. Just Sorry, Packers. Bring it, Packers fans. Hey, you guys look great against Washington. Tweet me. I mean, is anybody <laughs> going to get mad at those two first ones being in the Super Bowl? Nope. No. You Run that one back. The catches. What did we not see, Nate? We didn't see the feet, Kay. The fancy footwork. A little toe drag. Swag coming up in a little bit. Trace, what was the greatest defense of all time? Oh, the 2000 Ravens have an argument. That guy right there, he could be it. Mm. The best, though? Well, look at the 